After five years of record-breaking sales and sold-out concerts, One Direction is taking a break. But don't worry, their creator, Simon Cow, has new young talent to take their place. Introducing Luis, the anchor, teleprompter. <laughs> Dustin, the weatherman, polar vortex. Daniel, the sportscaster, touchdown. Julian, the producer, premiere pro. The news boys, get it? It's like jukebox, but they do the news. Good evening, Luis from our greeting you. Students got a behind the scenes look at what it takes to run a newscast. The Martinsville High School television production right, two students toured the WDBJ7 studio in Roanoke. Video Students got a behind the scenes look at what it takes to run a newscast. <laughs> Students also had the opportunity to see where all the action happens, the WDBJ7 news set and the weather center. While at the weather center, WDBJ7's Chief Meteorologist Brent Watts spoke to students about giving a forecast and showed them how to use the weather software. The students later came across the green screen and our meteorologist Dustin Staples couldn't resist to show the students how to give a forecast. Brent, Leo, y'all recording this? We got a top-notch meteorologist, future meteorologist right here. <laughs> and I gave it a try, too. We <laughs> familiar with the weather. Dustin is sick, so I'm setting in for him. Today, uh, we have a late, weak, cold front. I don't know what that means, but it looks like rain around here, and that looks really bad right there. Um, so, don't forget to take out your umbrellas. Uh, that's it for me. <laughs> Maybe I should just stick to news. Roanoke, Luis Romero, WMHS 8. Color Guard tryouts will be held May 9th to the 12th from 3.45 to 5. Interest in students should bring a change of comfortable clothes and shoes. If you have any questions, please see Mr. Joyce. Any 10th graders who have registered for AP English 11 should see Ms. Spencer Omers Lawson in D201 for summer assignment information. Denture rising juniors and seniors, do you have an interest in photography, excellent communication and sales skills? Do you have an eye for digital design? If so, apply to be part of the selected 15-person yearbook staff. Applications are available from Mr. Ling in D202 or from Ms. Spencer or Ms. Hurston in guidance. If you have any questions, please see Mr. Lane and remember that applications are due by May 17th. Any students that are interested in becoming an SEA or class officer should see Mr. Foster in G104 for more information. If you're interested in giving the speech at graduation, you must submit your speech to Mrs. Winers by 8 a.m. on May 18th. The speech must be no more than four minutes and you should represent the Martinsville High School class of 2016. The speech should be positive and inspirational, and it must be approved by an administrative committee. Only one speaker will be chosen for this privilege and honor. Anyone who has books or other materials checked out from the library, please return them to Mrs. Wood or place them in the drop box that's located in the library. Now here's WMHS 8 meteorologist Dustin Staples with our weather. Good evening. We're standing at the current temperature of 74 degrees with just a few passing thunderstorms coming to an end tonight as a clipper system is affecting the area. Lows will be dropping to the low to mid-60s with winds on the light side also. And for Wednesday's forecast, we're going to continue with the rain pattern, but these won't be as numerous as they will be today with a straight chance of thunderstorm right around the noon time after after that as well. About a quarter to a half inch rain is expected. More beneficial rain is coming in the later days as a typical summer-like pattern will be taking shape as well. Overnight lows will be falling right around 60 degrees. Now, sports is next. Good evening. I'm Daniel Pay here with the Trekkier Sports for Wednesday, May 11th. There will be boys and girls varsity tennis matches against Radford. The boys matches will be here at the high school at 4.30 with the girls matches taking place at Radford High School at 4.30. There will also be boys JV and varsity baseball games against George Washington. The varsity game will be at George Washington High School at 5 o'clock with the JV game taking place here at the high school at 5 o'clock as well. Thank you for watching MHS this evening. Join us tomorrow.